came to pass when Israel dwelt in the land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah, his father's concubine. Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. Here, yeah, Reuben. <laughs> Reuben is, Reuben is the eldest son of Israel, Jacob. Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. Reuben's a big boy. He's the eldest son. Read on. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve. The sons of Jacob were twelve. Understand this, this. Jacob had twelve sons by four different women. Two wives and two concubines. But what I want you to understand about this is that the man carried the seed. So whatever the man was, that's what all the children are. The women are symbolic with the earth. They nurture the seed. It grows in them for nine months, ten months, and they nurture it to come out and be a man. They have everything within them to raise up the seed of man. Right? So check up. So this thing they got about, I'm half this and I'm half that. That's some bug out stuff. That's the only one thing or the other. Everybody's going to be one thing. You are what your father is. Right. The sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, Reuben, and Simeon, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, Reuben, and Simeon, Reuben, Simeon, 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 and Levi. Four sons for Leah. Of course, the eldest four, read on. Issachar, and Issachar, Mexican, and Zebulon, Zebulon. Here, for the Malians. The sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin. Joseph and Benjamin. Benjamin, and Joseph, his name was changed. Ephraim was his son. Joseph had a son named Esau, I mean Ephraim, wow. Ephraim <laughs> and Manasseh, they became tribes in Israel. It's because of Joseph why Egypt ever became a world power, because of his wisdom that the Lord gave him. Listen, everything in the earth goes according to this nation of people. You're some young sisters, man, and you need to know your value, your worth in the earth. Don't waste it running around in America, following all these little wild little sisters like, um, who I want to say? Like right. SUV. You went way. What's up, SUV? SUV. Uh huh? SUV. The car. Like you, you say too. If I met her and got next to her, talk to her, whatever. But if I was in a whole different mind frame, do you know, you know the meaning of a whore is. You don't know the meaning of a whore is. A whore. How about a prostitute? You know what the meaning of a prostitute is. How old are you, sister? Twenty. 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 women. Right, you women. Read on. One second. I'm going to give you something that definitely is a whore. I'm on, on something that plays into the war zone. Read on. This is Genesis 35 and 24. The sons of Rachel, Joseph and Benjamin. Right. And the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid. Dan and Naphtali. Come And the sons of Zilpah, Le Leah's handmaid. Gad and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him of the Dan Aram. Dan of Aram. So these are the sons of Jacob, 12 sons. They became the 12 tribes of Israel. They're one nation. This man had 12 sons with four different women, and they became one people. They inherited, they inherited the Holy Land, right? Here in the book of Proverbs. We're going to bring this up today, the seventh chapter. I'm going to read you this from the top. Check this out and see if you can identify with this, right? Check this out. Proverbs 7 and 1. My son, keep my word and lay up my commandments with me. This is the Bible verse. The Lord right here is speaking to the man. He's telling the brother how to run his own. He said, Watch my commandments, keep my commandments, and lay them up with you in your heart. Remember them. People who remember the, 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 the songs of Beyonce, they can sing right along with her. But I want some of these scriptures that are righteous, right? Read it. Proverbs 7 and 1. My son, keep my word and lay up my commandments with me. Right? Keep my commandments and live. And live. Because you're not going to live no other way. Give me group 4 and 1, right? You're not going to live no other way. Guaranteed. America is done. America is on its last leg. It's limping. About to fall over and die. The Lord got that clock for America. It's set like that. Anybody in here? Got a problem. Stack is up against the wall. Only way out of here is through this word. How, how did America get set up? 
do this word. The Lord set America up, and he's about to break it down. So you see Negroes in the street, the so-called Negroes out here preaching right here to the so-called white man, anybody, and they can't do nothing about it. The Lord runs this thing, man. He runs this thing. The whole vibration, he controls it. We can tell the so-called white man better history about himself than he knows. Than he knows. And he's going to agree with it, hold it up to it. He might not follow to practice it. That's his business, though. Fire and brimstone's coming to America. Nuclear warfare is coming to America. America, the destruction of America is nigh. It's very close. And there's a great possibility it's going to be in our lifetime. We're going to see it. And that's a blessed time. This is a blessed time to be in. To see the, the kingdom in the earth change from one people to another is a heavy time. We just read about that stuff, man. Now we're going to see this thing. It looks like we're going to see it. Now listen. We're so excited that we can get a chance to preach in this kingdom about this stuff. Praise the Lord. Not like that. Read it. Proverbs 7 and 2. Right. Keep my commandments and live. Live. Hold it. Read it. Baruch 4 and 1. This is the book of the commandment of the Most High. This is the book of the commandments of the Heavenly Father. And the law that endures forever. And the law that never goes dead. It endures and never goes dead. This is right. The things that the Lord said was right and put to Moses are still right. They don't change. We don't. All they that keep it shall come to life. All they that keep it shall come to life. You sisters get into this vibration proper and you come back to life, man. You won't even believe how the Lord will bring this thing out of you, man. We don't. But such as leave it shall die. Such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take heed of it. Turn thee, O Jacob. Jacob, the father of the twelve tribes of Israel. They will shame Israel. And, and learn from it. Get into this truth. This Bible is your history book. This Bible is your antiquities. This is where your history uh, uh, goes all the way back. In the school they teach you in America, when we was Africans in America, we were brought over here from Africa as slaves. Do they go any, any, any back any further than that? Right, we're not Africans. The Africans sold us to the so-called white man. And Aaron was the middleman. All that stuff is in the Bible. All those things are in the Bible, we know. Robert, 17 and 2. Yeah, 17 and 3. I'll read to it again. Keep my commandments and live. And live. And my law as the apple of thine eye. And the law is the apple of his eye, man, because this thing is hot. This thing don't go wrong. How is it the apple of his eye? Because I can apply this stuff to myself. I can apply it to my woman. I can apply it to my children and be dead right. I can be on point. And I'm not guessing. And I'm not guessing how to run my household. I'm, because all this stuff is in here. And then what? And my woman got respect for me. Because she said what? I mean, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I gotta have this business, brother, brother, humble up. I'm not running my own program like my daddy did. My daddy did.